have to build the best safe house against an elemental tsunami. An elemental tsunami? Yep, in a few minutes, it's gonna start heading our way, and be warned, it is gonna be very strong. Nah, it should be pretty easy. I'm just gonna dig underground. And what? No, it's not gonna be easy, Ruby. It's gonna be a giant tsunami. Do you know what a tsunami is? Um, it's like a wave, right? It's just water. Well, first of all, it's gonna be an elemental tsunami, and no, it's not just water. Well, I mean, it kind of is, but it's like really big water. I don't know. I feel like you guys are panicking for nothing. Panicking? It's a huge wave of water, and it could destroy entire cities. And yeah, Ruby, if I were you, I would be taking this a bit more seriously, but guys, what I'm gonna do is build myself a big tower that goes all the way up in the sky, and then I'm gonna have my base on top of that. That way, the water's barely even gonna reach me. Oh, good idea. I'm gonna start on my tower. You guys are gonna build up. You realize that it's just gonna knock you guys over, right? No, no, no. It's gonna be fine. My base is gonna be really structurally strong, so that if the tsunami hits, it's gonna be just fine. And you're building underground. You realize that the water is gonna go underground first? Yeah, it's gonna flood all of it. I'm not gonna do that if I seal it up. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourselves. All right. Well, anyways, here, let me just select this position with my magic wand and also this position. And let me just uh, make this thing a bit taller. Let me do slash slash stack uh, seven. There we go. I think this should be about tall enough. And now I can start building my platform. I'm just gonna have like a whole base up here in the sky. It's gonna be sick. Well, you better build up things super stable if it's gonna be up high. It's gonna be super stable. Don't even worry about it. All I gotta do now is just set up the wall. So let me just select each corner of my build really quick. And I'm gonna set the walls into some glass because that's gonna look sick boom there we go and now let me set the roof into some uh the wooden slabs yeah this should be good and all right all right now that i've got the base of my house done i gotta build some stuff to prepare for the tsunami so let me see what things do i need inside of a base to prepare for a tsunami and oh wait okay i'm probably gonna need some food right since you know there's gonna be like a disaster going on and you know I, if i get stuck here for too long i don't want to starve to death oh yeah like a kitchen yeah 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 exactly food is gonna be very important in a disaster scenario like this so let me just build myself a little room over over here, this room is looking sick. Everything in my base is like built out of glass. Glass? That's just gonna break. And oh, wait, actually, true. You do have a good point. I'm not sure if this glass is gonna be strong enough against the whole tsunami. Okay, maybe what I should do is grab some reinforced glass and I can build my windows out of reinforced glass. This should be a lot stronger. I'm not gonna have any windows because they're a weak point. I cannot have any weak points in my build. And oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna have uh, some windows, but I'm gonna make sure to have them all be made out of these reinforced glass because reinforced glass is like super strong. And here now, it's time to make my kitchen. So I'm just gonna have have this area over here be the kitchen and all right let's see what type of foods am i gonna need in a disaster situation i guess first thing i should probably do is grab a chest and a fridge really quick and all right let's just put these down over here like this i'm gonna put down uh three fridges because you know the more the better in a disaster situation right i don't want to run out of food three fridges can't you just go to the store why do you need to stockpile so much food and at uh, the ruby uh, the tsunami is probably gonna take out any stores in near this area okay we gotta be prepared yeah three is way too little i have four and, wait you have four? Oh gosh i gotta step up my fridge game here. I'm putting down three more. I've got six fridges now. I'm never running out of food in this place. Let's go. I need to make another kitchen just for fridges. You guys are overreacting. Chill out. And uh, Ruby, I'm pretty sure you don't know how OP these tsunamis are. And plus, this isn't even a normal tsunami. It's literally going to be an elemental tsunami. There's going to be like fire in it and water and all the elements. It's going to be crazy. Well, that's not going to matter to me when I'm underground now, is it? Well, yeah, but what if it leaks underground into your base? Or causes a landslide and you go with it. Guys, like I said before, it's just water. Relax. And wait, wait. Speaking about water, uh, Cam, don't forget to put water bottles inside of your base. That's going to be important. We cannot get dehydrated. That's like the number one most important thing in like survival bases. Oh, I just have an infinite water source. We should be fine. And oh, yeah, yeah. An infinite water source. That's a good idea. Let me grab some water and let me just uh, build myself a little infinite water source over here. I'm just going to put down some pressure plates like that. And boom, there we go. I've also got an infinite water source now. Okay, perfect. My kitchen area is complete. But anyways, let's see. What else do people usually have in uh, the survival base? Bases. Oh, we need some sort of like living quarters. And oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Because we can't just like sleep on the floor. That's going to be very uncomfortable. Okay, here, I'm going to make my living quarters right next to my kitchen. I'm just going to have a little room connected to the kitchen just like this. And it is going to be the most epic safe living quarters ever. In fact, the bed is literally going to be inside of an obsidian box just in case anything happens while I'm sleeping. Uh, is it that kind of bad though? Do you be cramped? No, no, I'm not going to get cramped. All right. It's going to be a big spacious obsidian box. Let me make it right now. Ugh, obsidian in your room? I think I would get claustrophobic. And uh, Ruby, I think you're just not taking this seriously enough. Once your house gets destroyed by the tsunami, we'll see who's going to be surviving. You guys are panicking way too much. All right, all right. And let's see, what type of door should I put inside of my bedroom, uh, inside of my other bedroom? Uh, let's see, let's see. And ooh, wait, hold on. What about a reinforced door? Okay, this looks pretty strong. Uh, let me see, how can I power this though? Do I need to just use a lever? Let me try that out. And wait, what? The lever's not strong enough to power it? Ooh, wait, wait, hold on. What if I use one of these retinal scanners? What I can do is put it over here. And whenever I look at it, it'll open up the door just for me. And here, let me put 
put another one on this side so I can get out. And okay, perfect. Now my uh, the bedroom bunker box thingy is complete. But all I got to do is put my bed in here. Yeah, don't forget some supplies in there just in case, like some torches or, or some flashlights. And, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. Here, let me grab a barrel and uh, let me just grab some torches, uh, some food, definitely, just in case, you know, I don't have time to make it to the kitchen. Some water, of course. And okay, I think this should definitely be good. All right. And here, now let me just make my uh, the bedroom area a little bit nicer. There we go. That's looking pretty good and nice. All right. I've got my nice little bedroom box, but all right. What else? What else? I got to be super prepared for this elemental tsunami. You guys need to relax. I'm building some beach chairs so I can watch the tsunami when it comes. And what? You're building beach chairs, Ruby? That is a horrible idea. I mean, it's behind reinforced glass. What do I need to worry about? Okay, that's a little bit better, but still, that is a horrible idea. But wait a minute. That gives me an idea. We're going to need some sort of entertainment because like if a tsunami actually happens and we end up being stuck inside of our bases for too long, it's going to get pretty boring in here if we don't have any entertainment. So uh, let's see. What type of entertainment could I do? Uh, I'm going to make a virtual reality room where it makes it look like we're outside so uh, we don't get, uh, too, you know, too uh, crazy. And oh, wait, actually, that's a really good idea. But come on, let me see. What type of activities could I do? <gasps> wait a minute. What if I build a go-kart track? That'll make this safe house the coolest safe house ever. And here, what I can do is just build it underneath the main house. Yeah, this could be sick. What, Dash, you're building a go-kart track? Isn't that kind of bad? Uh, well, it's going to be a bit risky, but I think it should be fine. I'm just going to build it underneath the main base. What I need to do right now is just lay out all the floor for it. Just be careful. You don't want any go-kart touching the walls and leaving a crack in it. And oh, yeah, yeah. We cannot have any cracks in the walls because then the tsunami is going to leak in. And once it's in, it's not getting out. You have to be really careful. I'm just going to set all of the floor into some of this gray concrete just like this. Boom. There we go. And here, I guess I'll set the walls into some gray concrete as well. Or actually, I'll set them to some yellow concrete. And ooh, yeah. Okay, this is looking pretty cool. And now the next thing I need to do for my go-kart track is actually build like the main track area. So here, I guess the track can be one, two, three, four, five blocks wide. And then the rest of it can be fenced off for like uh, storing the go-karts or like spectators and stuff. So yeah, let's just have it one, two, three, four, five blocks wide on each side, just like this. And now here, let me grab the go-karts and I'll just put down all of the go-karts over here. This could be like the go-kart storage area. Yeah, we'll just have a bunch of go-karts down over here like this so that a bunch of people can race. There's probably going to be a bunch of people living in this safe house. You're having a go-kart storage area? There's no room for that. I just made an entire room just for medicine. Medicine? And wait, wait, medicine? Oh no, you're right. I need to build a medical room as well just in case anyone gets injured, but I should probably finish the go-kart room first. You know, entertainment is going to be important because you don't want to go like crazy if you get too bored. Oh yeah, I already built that. I have an arcade. And wait, an arcade is actually a pretty good idea. I'm not going to lie. That's probably the best idea you've had so far. What do you mean? You guys are just overreacting. My base is going to be great. And all right, all right, we'll see, I guess. But anyways, here, let me just continue this go-kart track like this. There we go. And all right, now my go-kart track is complete here. I should probably put some arrows on the wall so that people know which way they should be going because I don't want two people going the wrong way and then like bumping into each other and getting injured. That would be very bad. So here, let me grab some concrete and ooh, I'll grab some yellow reinforced concrete and I'll just build like an arrow over here that is uh, pointing uh this way. Yeah, hold on. Is this an arrow? That kind of looks like an arrow. Yeah, that works. And hold on, wait. I want to take this go-kart track for a spin real quick. Let me just hop inside of one of the go-karts and here we go. Let's go! Wait, this thing is actually pretty fun. I mean, go-karts are cool, but we don't have time for that. I, I have to add another room. And okay, yeah, hold on. You're right. Go-kart tracks are fun, but here, let me park this go-kart over here. Now, I need to go and build my medical room because that's going to be very important. Okay, here, let me just go up over here again. And here, I guess I'm just going to build it right next to my bedroom right over here like this. And wait, hold on. Cam, what type of stuff are you putting in your medical room? Oh, I have crates full of all the medicine ever. What? Can I borrow some? Sure, just search up medical crate. And oh, wait, I found it. Okay, here, let me just put some over here all around this area. I'm just going to have a bunch of these supply crates with all of these medical goods and uh, let me grab a door as well and I'll just have these two doors right over here like that there we go and here now we just need some more medical crates everywhere and also let me grab some tables this over here could be the operating table if anyone needs surgery or anything so there we go and let me also grab a chair there we go that could be the doctor's chair and uh, now I just need a doctor so at uh, the villager spawn egg time it is let me grab a villager spawn egg and uh, hold on this guy looks like a butcher I don't think he's a doctor I'm, I'm gonna need to fire this guy real quick all right come on please give me a doctor villager and oh wait okay i think this guy's a chef villager but you know chef doctor same thing uh, he probably knows what he's doing but anyways yeah he is gonna be the doctor for the entire safe house and oh wait it, it looks like he's trying to go to the bedroom okay well i i guess he can wander around but anyways uh what else do i need to build for the safe house let's see oh wait i need to build a toilet uh, guys have you built a toilet yet oh yeah i built one a long time ago uh, yeah i already have my bathroom set up and yeah guys bathroom is gonna be very important here let me grab a door and just put that over there actually i should probably 
probably uh, replace all the walls for my bathroom. Instead of glass, I should probably use a different type of block. Well, you want the entire ocean to see you pee? Uh, no, 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 no. I said I'm replacing it. So instead of glass, I'm going to use uh, quartz. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to have to break the theme of using glass for everything. So here, let me just replace all of these blocks over here with some quartz. And oh, wait, I also have to do the windows over here on the side. Let me do that as well. Just replace all of these reinforced glass blocks over here with some quartz. This should be good because uh, it's the bathroom. We need some privacy in here. And boom, there we go. Now we got to put down all of the uh, essential bathroom stuff. So I guess the first thing we need is a bath. So uh, let's get a bathtub. Put that down right over there. And oh, wait, hold on. We got to make sure to fill it up with a bunch of water. There we go. Let's grab a toilet. We can put that uh, over here on that side. That looks good. Of course, we're going to need to grab a sink so that people can wash their hands. And we can just have that there. And let's also grab a drawer. And we can just put that next to it. There we go. The bathroom is complete. This is looking pretty nice. Oh, the bathroom does need a sink, huh? I was just planning on washing my hands in the tsunami. And uh, what? You were planning on washing your hands in the tsunami? Ruby, you cannot go out and touch the tsunami. It, it's it's literally a, a bunch of water going very fast. It's not safe. I mean, it's just a bunch of water going fast. It's just like tap water. And, and no, Ruby, it, it is very different than tap water. But anyways, I've got the bathroom. I've got the, the medical room and the bedroom and the kitchen. What else do I need to build inside of my elemental tsunami bunker safe house thingy? Oh, I need protections on the outside. Sandbags are perfect. And wait, while you're putting sandbags on the outside of your base, what? Uh, yeah, I found some sandbags and I'm going to set an entire wall of sandbags. <gasps> Whoa, sandbags? Okay, hold on. That's actually a really good idea. Whoa, wait, what is that door? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I might have to borrow that door. I'm just going to put that over here on my base right here. And oh, wait, hold on. I don't think it fits. My door is too small. Yeah, okay. I need to get some more reinforced doors for over here. Let me pull out some of these. There we go. Reinforced doors. Let me also pull out some of those scanners from earlier. And nice. There we go. Now my doors both open up. And can I open them up like this as well? Let me try this out. Come on, doors. Can you can you close up real quick? And let's see. Does this work? And yes. Okay, perfect. It opens both of them up. Dash, make sure to surround your base with sandbags. That's very important. And, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing. I'm just going to build an entire wall around my base as well. Here, let's just put these all around here. What, what are you guys doing putting sandbags everywhere? You want to make a beach? And, and no, 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 Ruby. You don't get it. The sandbags are going to like slow down the tsunami. So it's going to be like heading to our base super quickly. The sandbags are going to like take a lot of that force and slow it down. Oh, I guess that's cool. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. You're not as prepared as we are. Yeah, Ruby, you got to think about this tactically, all right? The sandbags are the ultimate preparation right here. Um, okay, but I think that would make your place look kind of ugly. It's not about looks. It's about survival. And wait, Dash, since you have a pretty good base now, uh, we should connect our bases together. And, <gasps> wait, that actually sounds like a really good idea. Yeah, we should definitely do that. Wait, you guys are connecting your bases? I want to do that. And... Uh, well, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, we have to minimize the risk. And yeah, what if your base like floods? Uh, we don't want like the water flooding to our base. What? Are you saying that my base isn't good enough? Yeah, that's exactly what we're saying. You've kind of got a base on the floor over here. You realize that this is where all the water is going to be. You realize that everything is going to get sealed off, right? Yeah, but the water is going to find its way in. It's not just normal water. It's an elemental tsunami. So it's going to be all the weird types of liquids. You guys are so paranoid. All right, well, Dash, I'm building a tunnel to your base. We should do this underground. And wait, wait, wait. Wait, underground? Isn't that where the water is going to go first? Yeah, but check it out. I'm going to go super deep. And Oh, okay, okay. I see what we're doing. All right, all right. I guess let's just go super deep. I'm just going to keep digging all the way down over here. And Oh, wait. There's already some water here. Oh, gosh. Let me cover all of this up. And wait, wait. How deep are we going? Just wait where you are. I'll dig to you. And oh, uh, you well, okay. All right, Dash, I'm here. And, oh, wait. You are. What the heck are you wearing? No cross contaminations. I can't get sick. And uh, what in the world? Uh, okay, well, hold on. Is everything connected now? Let's check this out. Uh, yeah, I have a giant. Uh, underground up safe way and oh you do okay nice well uh, here I, I guess let's work on connecting this to my base my base is right over here yeah there's my ladder all right, all right let's clear out this area so we can get it done and yeah yeah sounds good here let's set all of the walls into some stone bricks because that'll look pretty cool let me do slash slash set stone brick boom there we go i'm just gonna do it on this side over here as well and also over here on my side hold on i'm gonna make my ladder look nice boom there we go and now let me put down all of my ladders there we go and all right perfect i think both of our bases are fully connected now we just gotta make everything down here look nice yep i'm just doing some of this there we go and then uh, we'll do that and there we go there we go nice looking good and all right perfect well anyways can i see what you have in your base since we're like connected now oh, yeah sure uh, you're gonna have to fly up here i haven't uh, brought the stairs down yet but uh here's the ground floor and all right all right whoa okay this looks pretty good you, i see you got the kitchen you got the other kitchen over here and uh ooh, wait you have a reading room nice nice wait what do you have on the next floor uh, over here we've got our bathroom our supply room uh here we've got a security camera uh, monitoring room and then over here we've got our surgery room and whoa okay okay this is looking pretty sick so far but here i'm gonna start heading back over to my 
my base. Wait, Dash, down here we should make like a gym or something. And oh, wait, a gym? Okay, actually, that's a really good idea. Staying fit is gonna be very important. Uh, so I guess we can just uh, build it over here in this wall. Yeah, sure, this works. Yeah, here, let's just go in each corner and select this position, and let's go over here and select uh, this position over here. We gotta make this a really big gym. We gotta have all the workout equipment so we can get huge muscles. All right, well, first let's set the walls to stone bricks. And all right, all right, sounds good. Here, I'll do the floor over here like that, and the ceiling, and there we go. All right, now we gotta build some actual uh, equipment in here so we can get super buff. So uh, what type of equipment do we need? Well, first we need some treadmills, so like that. And all right, all right, and ooh, wait, hold on. What we also need are some bench presses. So here, let me grab some equipment for that. So here, I guess we can just build the bench press right over here like that. We gotta build the bench over here like that. And now let me grab some end rods and some iron blocks because it is gonna be a very heavy weight. We can just have uh, the iron blocks go over here like this. There we go. That is looking pretty good. All right, well, I'll set some dumbbells over here so uh, people can actually like curl them or whatnot. And ooh, dumbbells looking nice. And ooh, what about a punching bag? That's gonna be very important as well. So let me grab uh, some chain and we can just have a punching bag over here and let me grab some wool. And boom, there we go. That's one punching bag. I guess we can have another one over here. There we go. That is looking pretty good. Uh, wait a second. Uh, no, we gotta change this to that. There we go. And all right, all right. But anyways, this gym is looking pretty sick. Now we can stay super buff while we're surviving from a tsunami. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna use this. All right, well, anyways, I think the gym is complete now. And yeah, the gym looks pretty good, but <gasps> wait a minute. I have another idea for what we could build. So we have our kitchens, right? And we have a lot of food in there, but what if the food runs out? Don't you guys have like seven fridges though? Yeah, but they can still run out. And yeah, exactly, Ruby. So what I was thinking is what if we build some farms? That can be really good. That way we can like plant our own food if we have to stay in the, the safe house for too long. <gasps> yes, that sounds awesome. And then we can also have areas for like animals and like a fishing spot. This is gonna be awesome. And <gasps> yeah, exactly. We can have like an animal farm and everything. All right, all right, here. I guess let's build it over here on the other side of the gym. Oh, okay. And here, here, what we need to do is just clear out a bunch of space. Since this is gonna be like an entire underground farm, it's gonna be crazy. So let's just uh, go over in this corner and select this position and also all the way over here. Oh, wait, there's gravel here. Gravel is annoying. And now let me select this position and let me do slash slash set zero. Boom, there we go. And all right, this could be our farm area, I was thinking. And okay, wait a minute. I think I have a problem. We're in the ocean. We have to block this off now. Oh gosh, oh gosh, quick, 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 block it off, block it off. Let me do slash slash set stone. This is really bad, this is really bad. We cannot have this. And you guys didn't trust me to build anything? We didn't think the ocean was gonna fall in. Uh, it's just a temporary setback. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Oh gosh, oh gosh, everything is going wrong right now. And there we go. Okay, okay, I think we have everything under control now. I don't think there's any more water leaking down here. Phew. That was a close one. We definitely gotta reinforce our ceiling up here. I guess let's just uh, set the entire ceiling to be made out of obsidian because we need the ceiling to be super strong. Wait, obsidian? Isn't that gonna be kind of bad for the plants? And, oh, wait, actually, yeah, you're right. The plants need some light if they wanna grow. So let me do slash slash move. I'm just gonna move the obsidian one block up and then we can do slash slash set glowstone. Boom, there we go. Now the plants should have a bunch of uh, lights. Awesome. Uh, now we just need to set up the floor. Awesome. Let's do that real quick. And all right, now it's time to build our epic underground farm. So what I was thinking is let's grab some fences. And uh, here, we could just have like this half of the room entirely dedicated to a farm. So let's just uh, clear out this entire area with some fence really quick. All right, well, I'll start setting the floor to some grass just like that. And awesome. Sounds good. Here, let me put down some gates over here. And now what we need to do is, uh, oh wait, we need to put some water inside of it so that, you know, everything uh, can grow properly. So uh, I guess let's just have like some lines of water every few blocks. So we can just have like a line like that. Wait, no, no, that's not efficient at all. That's wasting so much land. Uh, we just need one thing of water uh, uh, right right there. And wait, that's enough to water all of these crops? Uh, yeah, we just need to place them in a pattern like this. And oh, okay, okay, yeah, good idea. This way we can save on land. So I guess let's just have them all be uh, a few blocks apart from each other like this. How many blocks is this? Wait, no, 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 no. Dude, we, we need to keep them in line. Oh, okay, we're putting them that far apart. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks apart. Okay, okay. We have to save all the land that we can. And all right, all right. I guess that makes sense in here. Now, let me grab a hoe really quick. And now all we have to do is just hoe all of this land. That's so slow. We need a better hoe. Uh, what about this one? A uh, hoe of the green earth. And what the heck is that? Pretty simple. It's the hoe of the green earth. And, wait, wait. It got rid of all the water. Oh, no. We spent so long placing that. Don't worry. We can put it back and we can make it better this time. And, okay, okay. Yeah, here. I guess let's just uh, place down the water 
together again we gotta make sure to have them one two three four five six seven eight blocks apart so like this and uh, let's just stick to a normal hoe for now that hoe was a bit too intense for us all right i guess we can just use a normal hoe and, all right all right here let's just try hoeing all this land and let's see is all of the land gonna stay at uh, the hoed and is it gonna turn to dirt okay but there's gonna be a test to see if everything is uh, has enough water i think everything's getting some water and okay yeah i think everything should be good it looks like none of the crops are drying out but anyways now what we need to do is actually put down our crops so here we should grow like a wide variety of crops so of course we need some wheat so let's grab some wheat seeds and uh, ooh, we're gonna need some carrots of course and some potatoes and here i'm just gonna start planting all of these crops down. i'm just gonna put down the wheat seeds first over here all right well i'll get some carrots and some potatoes awesome awesome sounds good here let's just put down all of these over here we can have that be like split up into three areas so uh this first area can be wheat this will be carrots and then the middle can be potatoes so here i'm planting all of those right now all right well i'll help you because i just finished with the carrots let's go let's go this farm is looking awesome and wait we should probably have some sort of way we can get bone meal so we can grow crops faster and, oh, wait a minute that gives me an idea what if we build a skeleton mob farm that way you know uh, we could just have like a skeleton spawner and then we could have like a machine to, to kill the skeletons and then we could get the bone meal from them and grow our farm oh yeah and we can have it all funnel into like a chest right here exactly exactly so here i, I guess what we could do is uh let me just grab some glass really quick and we can just have it like right over here let me just clear out a bunch of space like this watch out for water you might be digging into the ocean and, wait hold on this gravel looks a bit sketchy and oh wait if i break this water is definitely gonna come down we gotta patch this up and oh gosh yeah okay there we go nice yeah that is very dangerous and okay this over here could be the enclosure for the skeleton area so let me uh, do slash slash one and let's set all of the walls into some stone bricks all right well i've got the spawner just let me know and i'll place it down and all right all right we'll do here what we need to do is just set all of this to stone bricks and then over here here on the floor let's set this to some air and okay what we need to do actually is set the floor over here into some magma blocks just like that and okay yeah put down the spawner over there and let me grab a skeleton spawn egg and we could eat that right in there so now the spawner is going to be spawning skeletons and pretty much what this is going to do is make it so that as soon as the skeletons spawn in they're going to start taking damage to the magma blocks and then we'll get a bunch of bone meal from that and yeah check it out yo that looks awesome but how do we collect the bones and okay okay well for that here's what i was thinking what we need to do is go underneath the magma blocks over here like this and let me grab some rails oh i know what you're going to do yep it's gonna be sick we're gonna use some minecart hopper so the first thing we should probably do is set this entire floor into some redstone blocks like that so that should make it easy to power oh, i guess this works and yeah what we need to do is just have uh this entire floor covered up with a bunch of rails so let's just have all of these rails go around over here they just have to be looping all right all right there we go that looks good and then over here at the end we could just have it go into a block like that and now what we need to do is grab a minecart hopper all right and then we need a regular hopper as well for this yep 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 and then we gotta put the minecart hopper down over here like that and let's just hold on let's give it a little boost so it starts going hey yo minecart hopper you gotta, you gotta get on the move come on can, can you can you move hold on i need to break this block hey, there we go now it's moving and now pretty much check it out what the minecart hopper is gonna do is go around and collect all of the bones that the skeletons drop and check it out they get collected right here into the hopper all right and then we could just uh, do this right uh, let's push it back and all right here we go it should put everything it collects inside of this hopper over here and wait is it work working uh hold on it's not really working what i think it's going over the hopper a little too fast or actually wait what we could do instead of having all of these redstone blocks we could just have like a, a bunch of hoppers like this going into the, over here so we could just have the entire floor be made out of hoppers like this all right let's just have all the hoppers going in like this and there we go that is looking nice and now we gotta put all the rails down again so uh, let's just put those down again so just like that and boom okay now the entire floor is hoppers let's try putting down another hopper minecart and all right let's see is this gonna work hold on wait we need to replace this with a powered reel and all right here we go go hopper my car come on uh, can, can you can you get moving is it is it gonna is it gonna go uh, hey there we go all right now it's going so here look it's gonna collect those items over there yeah it just picked out the bones and now we should see the bones inside of this hopper over here yes let's go you see that it picked it up let's go it's awesome let's go this is awesome now what we need to do is just have this hopper over here go inside of a chest and uh let me just grab a chest we're gonna just place that chest on the floor right over here like this and we just have to have this hopper go inside of it like that there we go and all right perfect now we should have a fully automated bone meal collection system let's go let's go and now we can cover this up so uh, nobody sees this and yeah here let's cover all of this up there we go and awesome check it out it should all be working now perfect oh, wait dash we can't only eat plants we need some livestock in here like meats and yeah yeah you're right you're right we need to have some sort of like farm with cows and pigs and all that sort of stuff so here i guess let's grab some more fences and we could just have uh this side of the room over here be dedicated to animals and all that all right i'll set the floor to grass like that and awesome sounds good here let me put down the gates over here and okay hold on we should probably split up this area into like uh, the multiple areas because we need to have one section for each animal so we can have this area over here for cows and 
then we could have uh, this area over here for uh, the sheep or something. Oh, yeah, we could have this one for chickens and then sheep. And then we could have the large one for beef or cows. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could have this big one over here for cows. And let's go. We have so many animals. And oh, wait, we could also breed them with wheat that we get from our uh, plant farm. Yep, infinite food. It's going to be sick. Let's go here. I'll spawn in all of the chickens in over here. And uh, what should we put in this last area? Oh, well, what about uh, the last uh, animal? What about some pigs? And, oh, yeah, yeah, right. We need some pigs. So let's just push those all in over there. And all right, let's just spawn in a bunch of pigs. And perfect. Our farm is looking awesome. Well, we've got the animal food. We've got the crops. But what if we get tired of these foods? What if we make some seafood? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Are you talking about building like a whole pond inside of here? Let's just make the walls out of some sand like that. And ooh, okay, okay. This is looking pretty secure. Let's just set the floor over here into some sand that's looking nice. And hold on, let's make it look kind of like a natural ocean, you know, since we're probably going to be stuck down here for a while. We got to have like uh, some stuff that, you know, reminds us of what the outside world looks like. Yeah, I'm just going to fill it in. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Let's go. That is looking awesome. And ooh, wait, what we could do here? This could be like our little beach area. We could have like some lawn chairs. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me just add, add some decor like that and waterfall. And whoa, yeah, this is looking so awesome. Wait, Ruby, you know how you have like your lawn chairs outside to watch the tsunami? Well, we've got some lawn chairs inside because it's a lot safer in here. Yeah, but you guys aren't going to get any sunlight down there. Pff, sunlight? We've got artificial sunlight. It's 10 times more powerful. Yeah, yeah. We've got glow sun. We don't need no sunlight. Sunlight is for nerds. If you say so. All right. Well, anyways, one more thing that we need, Cam, is to put a chest down over here. And inside of this chest, we could put in our fishing rods. Let's go. Oh, we could populate the pond with some fish. Let's put some salmon in. And, whoa, wait, hold on. I think this one's stuck in the cobweb. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll just get rid of the decorations. Uh, rest in peace, Mr. Salmon. Uh, he, uh, hopefully, he flops happily ever after. But let's go. We got some fish. This is looking pretty awesome. It looks like the fish are pretty happy. But mm, let's see. What else do we need in this room? I think we've got everything, right? Oh, what about like pumpkins and melons? We need those, right? And, oh, yeah. We forgot the pumpkins and melons. Oh. Uh, what about like some pumpkins and melons? And, oh, yeah. You're right. We forgot about pumpkins and melons. We literally have every sort of plant except for those. But wait, where are we going to build them? Oh, don't worry. I have an idea. We just got to go inside this wall over here real quick. And all right. All right. Yeah, we can build it here. Here, let me just clear out a bunch of space over here just like that. All right. Looking nice. And oh, I just got a banger idea. What if we make the pumpkin farm automatic? That way, we don't even have to farm it ourselves. We can just have like hoppers that deliver it to us like in a chest over here. Yep. I'm already on it. I, I just got to grab some of these, some of these. And there we go. All right. Uh, let's start this. All right. All right. Awesome. Well, here, let me grab a hoe really quick and some pumpkin and some melon seeds. Boom. There we go. And all right. How are we going to do this? Uh, well, first, we need to till the ground just like this. All right. All right. Here, I'll plant all of the pumpkin and melon seeds just like that. Looking good. We just got to put observers on top of all of these if you want to help me out. And, all right. All right. I got you here. Let me just put down some observers over here like this. We got to make sure to have the redstone facing upwards. So come on, redstone face upwards, please. Come on. There we go. That one's facing up. Well, now let's grab some stone and we got to put it like that. There we go go and we've got to make it on a pattern just like this awesome awesome all right here i'll put down some redstone on all of the observers just like this make sure they all have redstone wait now that that's done I, I, all we need to do now is add the pistons and let's go this is awesome all right and now pretty much the way this should work let me grab some bone meal as soon as one of these seeds is fully done growing like that so let me just uh, keep planting it here we go and uh, the way hold on but they're fully grown now shouldn't they be like uh, growing oh wait actually uh, cam i forgot we need to give them light. I completely forgot about that. No problem. We'll just encase them in light. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here, we're just gonna give them a bunch of this artificial sun, just like that. Boom. There we go. And uh, now it should start going. All right. Uh, now, let's see. Does this work? And, uh, no, wait. No, why, why isn't it working? Shouldn't the pumpkins be growing right now? I, I don't know. We probably just have to give it some time, but uh, let's set up the minecart, and uh, everything should work. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We have to set up that minecart thing again. All right. Let's head underground, and we should be able to do it much faster this time, now that we know actually what we're doing. Oh, yeah. We could do that, or we could just do a, a little bit of slash slash paste, and there we go. Oh, oh. They just copy and paste it. Okay, that works, but I'm stuck in here. Hold on, hold on. I need to uh, kind of uh, break myself out of here. I, I don't want to mess with the, the, the whole thing, though, so let me just break like that. Okay, there we go. That should be fine. Yeah, let me just put the water back. There we go. And wait, hold on. We also have to fix the rails because that kind of broke. So here, let's just repair all of these rails and boom, there we go. Now it should be working. Let's grab another minecart hopper and shove it in right over here. Boom. And all right, perfect. Now everything should be working here. Let's block all of this off so that we don't have any of the pumpkins fall off and not get caught by the hopper. All right, and uh, that's everything. Let's go. 
here. Let's also put down a chest over here like that. And okay, perfect. I think this machine over here should be done now. We've got pumpkins and melons growing in there as well. All right, well, anyways, now that we've got all the farms done, what else do we need to build for our houses? It seems like we've got everything, right? No, we need an emergency escape just in case everything and fails. <gasps> Wait, an emergency escape? I completely forgot about that. Okay, well, what type of emergency escape could we do? Maybe a boat or something? But that would be kind of risky since like there's probably going to be like a lot of waves in the ocean if there's a tsunami. Oh, right, we need something to go underwater. Well, what about a submarine? And <gasps> wait, a submarine? That is a banger idea. Wait, wait, what we could do, we could build like a whole submarine base underneath the ocean. And then when we hit a button, it could like drop all the ocean water on us and then we could just float away. Uh, yeah, that actually sounds awesome. All right, well, uh, here, actually, I know where we can build this. Let's just go all the way over here. Let's just dig out this way like this. We got to go kind of far because we don't want to interfere with our farm over there. All right, I'm listening. And yeah, yeah, here, we just got to dig out a little bit this way. And I think this should be far enough now. Let's just keep digging out this way. Oh, watch out, there's a bunch of water everywhere. But pretty much what we need to do is take this tunnel all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. All right, I think we're about there. And yeah, all right, let's just try digging up. Are we underneath the ocean now? And Oh, yep, we definitely are underneath the ocean. Okay, okay, perfect. Here, let's just keep going down over here. And pretty much what we need to do now is just build a big room for our submarine underneath the ocean right over here. So uh, let's start clearing out some space. Uh, all right, let me start clearing out some space. Let me select this position and let me go all the way in this corner over here as well and select this position and let me slash slash set zero. Boom, there we go. Hold on, actually, I need to make this a bit bigger. There we go. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. All right, here, let's make everything look nice. Let's set all the walls to some stone bricks. And yep, let's do all that really quick. Boom. And there we go. This room looks pretty nice. Now, all we have to do is uh, build the submarine. And yep, but here, actually, what I was thinking for the submarine, let's see, what type of block should we build it out of? Uh, yellow. I mean, the, uh, I've never seen a submarine that's not yellow. And Okay, you know what? Fair enough. Yeah, we can build it out of yellow. Let's just build the submarine out of some yellow wool just like this. And here, let's build the entire top part out of some glass so that we can actually see what's going on outside. Yep, and uh, let me add some walls back here so we can have like some storage area for like some emergency food if we need to run away. And ooh, yeah, yeah, good idea, good idea. Here, let's set the walls over here to some normal wool and then we gotta set the roof as well. Actually, wait, hold on. We might have to move the roof for this room a little bit higher. Let me just select all of this really quick and run the command slash slash move. Boom, there we go. Now that's good. All right, well, I'll make like a little entrance staircase here. And all right, all right, that looks pretty good. And now on the inside, what we gotta do, let me grab all of the parts that we need. So we're gonna need the captain's chair and some passengers' chairs. And all right, let's just put the captain's chair over here in the front and you just have like uh, Wait, two no, passengers' chairs in the room. back. I, you can sit here and then I can sit here. And uh, okay, I guess that works. I can be the captain in here. We could also set a seat back over here for Ruby because uh, she's probably gonna, you know, her house is probably gonna flood and she's probably gonna come in here. Yeah, but uh, she's definitely gonna sit in the back. And you know what? Since uh, she's not gonna be with us, uh, she's gonna sit here against the wall. Wow, okay, that's, that's, that's a pretty bad spot. But anyways, what we need to do next is put down the physics infuser right over here like that and what this will do is actually allow us to like make the ship uh, move and stuff so let's just put this thingy in there and now we can assemble the ship and whenever we're ready we can turn it into a fully working submarine awesome but wait how are we actually going to get the water in here to light this submarine and oh 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 well that was the next thing i was thinking about what we need to do is grab some command blocks so let me just uh, give myself a command block really quick just like that boom and then uh, let's go and put the command block out over here we can just put the command block there and uh we can have a button over here like that and pretty much what this command block is going to do is just get rid of the entire ceiling so that the water starts coming down so uh, here let me get a command for the command block really quick and here now let me just paste in this command boom and now check it out whenever we hit this button it'll drop the entire ceiling and everything in this room will fill up with water uh we probably shouldn't test that out it's like it'll open the floodgates yep exactly but anyways i think that should be done we have the escape route let's go let's go but uh wait uh do you see how long that hallway is uh, i don't want to run that and wait a minute hold on yeah you do have a good point if we're trying to escape it's gonna take us like a year to run from that side of the hallway to over here wait what do we do about that luckily i've got an idea let me just search up this real quick and let me just place this down uh, give me some room all right and we are in business <gasps> whoa dirt bike all right i'm stealing this let's go Oh, wait, there's actually a banger idea. We have so much space down here that walking is just way too slow. Dirt bikes are going to be so epic. So I'm just going to park mine over here like that. There we go. And all right, I think our uh, the safe house should be done. Oh, I'm done too. And oh, wait, you are. Hold on, hold on. Wait, guys, I don't think the tsunami is here yet. We should take a tour of each other's safe houses before the tsunami gets here. And whoa, wait, Ruby, yours is looking uh, very interesting. What do you mean interesting? I think it looks cool. Uh... I, I'm kind of stuck in your house, Dash. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. Hold on, hold on. I forgot my doors only open up for me here. Let me open the door for you. And there you go. But uh, I mean, it, it looks kind of cool. I see you built some of your house above the floor. That's a pretty good idea. I mean, some of it. I have to go up sometime. 
right? This is my first time being outside since I started building. Why are you wearing that suit? I, no cross contamination. Stay away from What's me. Him? Ugh, he is so paranoid. All right. Well, anyways, hold on. Can we check out what's on the inside of your base? And whoa. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Wait. Uh, what? What the heck is this? Um, this is just a bunch of ladders and trap doors in case we need to seal off some water that's falling down here. I guess. I don't know. I just kind of place stuff down wherever. And oh, oh, wait. I see. You're trying to seal off the water, but. Wait, I don't think you put these trap doors right there. Water is gonna like leak through this. Um, that's why there's a lot of them. Oh, I, I see. Okay, well, uh, anyways, here I guess let's go check out what's in the rest of the house. And whoa, okay, you have one of these fancy doors. All right, all right. Ooh, you have double doors? Yeah, of course. That's normal. Okay, so over here we have my display room. This armor is actually just for show. No one actually wears it. Um, I don't want to get it dirty. So, um. What's the point of having it then? And yeah, wait, that's a good question. What do you mean? What's the point of having it? It's pretty. Oh well, fair enough and oh okay this this kitchen looks pretty nice but hold on wait do you have a bunch of meat in the fridges and what uh, cake and ice what is this i love chewing on ice what's wrong with that uh, maybe i don't i don't think that's very good survival food you, you need some like steak and stuff in here um i mean i have some burgers in my inventory like maybe like 10 that's enough isn't it get away from me with your diseases anyways this is my pool and whoa but you have a whole pool in here all right that's kind of cool i guess i'm not going in there do you know how many people pee in a pool in a year this is a new pool. No one has been in here except for me. Yeah, but you still pee in the pool. Are you kidding me? And wait, hold on. How many toilets do you have here? Why do you have four of them? Oh, it's a quadruple decker toilet seat. Um, haven't you seen these before? No. Wait, do you have to, like, go on top over here? Wait, you can only use, like, the top two. How is anyone supposed to fit in the bottom two? How big are your poops that you need four toilets? Never ask a lady how big her poops are. You've got four toilets! Anyways, I have a book room where I can see the tsunami and just lay down and have have a nice time. Oh, yeah. Really, really nice view here. Yeah, and I thought maybe, like, a couple sponges would be nice. I don't know. And, Ruby, you realize that if the tsunami leaks in, a couple sponges isn't gonna stop it, right? Um, I don't know. I This might be better than nothing, right? <laughs> um, I guess so, but... Wait, was that your entire base? Anyway, so this is my living room. I haven't actually unpacked everything, but I have Dance Dance Revolution right here. And then I have a little farm. And Oh, wait, you have a farm and... Oh, wait. Th this is, uh, nice. You should check out our farm, though. Our farm is, uh, a lot nicer than this. Yeah, I was gonna fix this later. I don't really, like, need to right now. I think it's not that important. Yeah, you got enough burgers already? Yeah, I got so many burgers. And then upstairs, we have a couple of things. Bedroom, standard. And, oh, okay, this looks pretty cool. I like how you have the ceiling made out of glass so you can see the tsunami when you're sleeping, I guess. Yeah, I love water. Also, I was thinking maybe I could nap it off. I don't know. And then over here, we have my pet room. Oh, hi, are you so, are you there? Oh, you're so cute. And, whoa, wait, you have a pet room? That's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool, right? Wait, so this is where you get your food from? What are you saying? These are my emotional support pets. Oh, well, uh, we have, like, cows and pigs for food, but uh, I, this is an interesting uh, farm. But anyways, uh, what else do you have? It's not a farm, but over here we have a cell phone tower. I want to make sure I don't lose Wi-Fi. What? You have a Wi-Fi cell phone tower? Uh, Ruby, that's the first thing that's going down uh, in a tsunami. You realize that, right? Yeah, that's why I built it. No, like, the tower is going down, not the service. What? I don't understand what you're saying. All right, well, anyways, what's inside of this in case of emergency chest and what? Boats? But wait, Ruby, you realize it's going to be super wavy and intense, right? Which is why you have to ride the tide, bruh. And all right, was that your entire base? I mean, yeah, I can show you guys out the door. Uh, wait, guys, I, I, I think a tsunami's here. And wait, what? The tsunami's here? How do you know it? Oh, gosh, I, guys, there's a big wave of water. Oh, gosh, I got to run back to my house. We got to scram. Oh, my gosh, wait, the tsunami's huge. Oh, my gosh, uh, guys, that thing is John Norman's quick. Everyone show their houses. Go, go, go. Okay, bye, guys. All right, all right, good luck, everyone. I'm heading over to my base here. Here we go, come on, and oh my gosh, uh, guys, my entire base is already submerged, but I, I think my base is holding up pretty good so far, there hasn't been any leaks. Um, yeah, I think mine is too, I actually just can't see what's going on, it's just all blue. Oh my gosh, okay, this is actually crazy, what in the world? Oh no, I'm so scared. And oh my gosh, how long is this tsunami gonna last? And, oh, wait, guys, I, 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 I think the water tsunami's passed, no way, let's go, we survived! Uh, I wouldn't be too confident. Remember, this is an elemental tsunami. And oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, you're right. Uh, guys, it's not going to be only a water tsunami. I'm pretty sure next it's a lava tsunami. And then there's going to be a, a, another element. And oh gosh, I, everyone get ready. There's probably going to be another one coming very soon. Stop panicking. That one was easy peasy. And phew, all right. I'm glad that water tsunami was over. But th that made me hungry. I'm going to go eat some food. Uh, wait, I don't think you have time to take a look. I, wait, what, what's going on? Hey, what in the world is that? Oh gosh, wait. Is that the next tsunami? What element 
is this? I have no clue, but why is it so green? I think it's the element of Earth. An, uh, well, element of Earth? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, guys, uh, the, the element of Earth seems a lot stronger than water. And I can't even see through my windows anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, uh, luckily, I'm still in my basement. I should be fine. Wait, why are my windows looking like they're about to break? And, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Be careful. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm heading inside of my obsidian bunker. This is very scary. Oh, the Earth water is probably so heavy. It's bending your glass. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I'm glad I don't have any glass on my ceiling. Come on. Wait, if my ceiling breaks, can I go over to you guys? Uh, I don't know how you're gonna get us, but you can try. Ah, it broke! Okay, uh, I'm heading over, I'm heading and, uh, over! Wait, wait, it broke? Are you alright? Wait, wait how, how, what's it looking like outside? Green? Oh gosh, oh gosh, wait, are you able to get to one of our houses? I don't know, actually, but I'm gonna go over to you, Dash. Alright, alright, good luck, I see your name tag up there, just keep running! Wait, Dash, I'm here, open up your door, I can't get and, in! Oh yeah, right, I forgot my door, alright, alright, I'm coming back down here, let me just open up the door for you, and alright, quick, get in, go, go, go! Oh my gosh, there is literally water everywhere, quick, just go through this door! Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. Come on, come on. Just keep trying to go through. And let's go. You made it. All right, now we got to go quick. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I underestimated that thing. Yeah, Ruby, you should have built better defenses. I didn't know it would be this crazy. Uh, but wait, I think it's going away. And <gasps> finally, the Earth tsunami is passing. Okay, well, I'm glad we all made it that round. But uh, guys, there's still uh, a few more elements left. I'm not sure how much longer we're going to last. I don't know either. I'm scared. Well, my and Dash's house should be fine for now. If we just stay here, we should be safe. And yeah, all right. Let's just be really careful here. Yeah, I agree. But wait, guys, it's not over yet. The next round's starting. Wait, it isn't. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, guys, the next round is here. Well, what element is this? Oh, what in the world? Okay, why is it so yellow? It looks like lemonade. Oh, it's the element of lightning. And oh, my gosh, it's so fast. It's in lightning speed. And oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Wait, uh, this one is spreading very quickly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Do we just have to sit here and do nothing? And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, wait, hold on, Ruby. Follow me. I've got some enchanted golden apples in here. We should probably take some of these just in case the tsunami breaks in here. Uh, take a stack of that and all right i'm just gonna keep these in my hand just in case okay oh my gosh and, uh, wait, 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 what's going on are you all right uh, yeah uh, i think it breached in i'm coming up coming up he's coming here and wait, wait you're coming to my house hold on wait if it breached your house then our houses are connected oh no i plugged it we should be fine and, wait wait you plugged it what yeah i just grabbed all the blocks i could and tried to you know uh, plug off the hole and wait oh well, i see what you did um well hold on uh, does anyone have any better blocks i'm not sure how long these blocks are gonna last for uh, no i don't i don't have any blocks other than ice and wait Ice? Hold on, that could work. Uh, we can take anything we get up here. Just uh, put all the ice over here. We gotta build an entire barrier of ice. Alrighty, I'm gonna drop it down. Alright, thank you very much. Here, now let me just cover all of this up. Hopefully this holds. Yeah, hopefully. Ice is pretty strong and hard uh, as long as it's not melting, so let's just leave that there. And that should last us for a little while, but let's see. Has this tsunami passed yet? And oh, wait, there we go. Check it out, guys. The tsunami is finally passing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, uh, two of our houses are gone, but uh, hopefully my house is gonna be all right. Oh, gosh. There's probably gonna be one more. And it's the element of fire. Uh, what do we do? And, oh, gosh. My house is made out of wood. Oh, no. Okay, well, let's just hope for the best. Oh, no. This place is made out of wood. We're all gonna burn. And, no, no, no. Guys, it, it, it's it's good wood. All right. Uh, it should be fine. Come on. Uh, if it could last three tsunamis, then hopefully it could last the lava tsunami. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right. Well, anyways, in the meantime, is anyone injured? I've got a medical room right over here with this uh, world-class doctor right here. His name is... Actually, he doesn't have a name, but yeah, if anyone's injured, we got this. Wait, what's that noise? Uh, I'm not injured, but we have bigger problems. Uh, look, the lava's oh, here! Oh, gosh, the lava tsunami! Okay, okay, well, come on. Uh, let's see. The house is holding up pretty good so far. You know, we've got some water here we could use in case, you know, uh, the fire starts breaching in. It's kind of hot. Can we turn up the AC or something? And, uh, I don't have air conditioning in this house. I'm making myself an icebox. Oh, it's fair enough. That's probably a good idea. Uh, guys, uh, turn around. Uh, the, the fire's here! Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, the fire is spreading inside the house. Oh, no, oh, no. Right, guys, put it out, put it out. This is very bad. Oh, no. Uh, everything is going wrong. Oh, no. I'm abandoning to the bunker. This should be fireproof. And oh, yeah, quick. Everyone head to the little tunnel beneath our base. Come on, let's just go down here. Wait, is the ice barrier still there? Uh, yeah, it's holding, but I don't know for how long it's melting. And oh, gosh, oh, gosh, it's melting. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Come on, we just have to cover all of this up with some more ice really quick. Everyone just put all your ice down. I only have four left. I don't have any, uh, but uh, guys, uh, I don't think we can stay here for much longer. Oh gosh, oh gosh, well, here, we should probably start collecting emergency materials quick. Everyone needs to grab some food, and then we gotta head to the submarine. Grab everything you can get. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm gonna get some beef. Okay, I have some wheat. Oh, wait, you guys have a fish farm? I want some fish. Uh, I don't think we have any time for that. And uh, Ruby, uh, the fishing takes a while. I don't think we really need fish. That's not gonna be worth it. Come on, we gotta go to the submarine. The ice is gonna hold for a little bit. And, uh, no, Ruby, we cannot risk this. Oh gosh, uh, the ice is melting. Melting up very quickly. Ugh, fine. I guess I don't have time for and, this. Yeah, you do not have time. Everyone, quick, on the dirt bikes. We gotta go. Okay, let's go. To the submarine room. Go, 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 go. Can this thing go any faster? 
here? And uh, no, we're already here. But anyways, everyone, quick, hop in the submarine. And uh, here, you guys, hop in. I'll hit the button whenever we're ready. Are, are you guys ready? Wait, you're the captain. Shouldn't you be in the boat first? And, oh wait, actually, that's probably a good idea. All right, I'm hopping in the boat. Uh, someone else hit the button. I, I will. Let me know when you guys are ready. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, I'm pressing the button. Let's go. And all right, quick, everyone, go, go, go. Here, I'm hopping in, and let me activate the ship and assemble it. Here we go. All right, quick, we are taking off. Let's go. And all right, let's go. We are out. And oh gosh, I, guys, I see all the damage from the lava tsunami. There's literally obsidian everywhere here. I just gotta get out of here. Come on. And let's go. I think we escaped. Although uh, this submarine is kind of hard to drive. All right, well, let's get out of here. All right, well, anyways, guys, I guess we're gonna be living underwater for the rest of our lives now. That was pretty crazy. And if you wanna watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.